better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list, checking it twice, gonna find out. Claus, you're here for a startup loan? That's right, a startup loan. Now I know everybody says that money's tight, well, especially if all you have is an idea, <laughs> but it's not just any idea. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make toys. Oh, oh, oh. Toys? Yup. What kind of toys? Well, all kinds. I don't like to put limits on myself. Big toys, little toys, the whole nine yards. Here's what I'm thinking, sir. A giant toy factory at the North Pole. Special delivery every Christmas Eve like FedEx, but boom, right under the Christmas tree. Cookies and milk, and I'm on my way. We're talking every child in the world here, sir. Well, except for the occasional <laughs> odd naughty one. Special delivery from the North Pole? I know what you're thinking. The price of jet fuel, hell, hell even postage. That had me stumped for a while, too. Oh, <laughs> but I've been thinking. Are you ready for this? Reindeer. Reindeer? Supersonic Arctic ruminants and a flying sleigh. You think that would work? Well, look, it's never been tried before. Reindeer and a flying well, sleigh? It's just an idea. I'm flexible. I was just wondering how you're going to fit everything in. Okay. I'll shrink the toys down so they fit into the, the trunk or whatever it is a sleigh has. After I rappel down the chimney with my bundle of toys slung over my back, just like a peddler. Chimney? Right. I guess I'll have to shrink down a little bit too. Oh, oh. All the children in one night? Hey, you don't know how lively and quick I can be. My wife sometimes complains about that. Uh, Mr. Claus. Well, call me Nick. Just picture it, sir. I'm coming down the lane. What a beautiful sight. Down the chimney, vada boom. Happy children, it's a win-win, right? But your source of revenue. Well, happy children. You don't understand. Well, the smiling faces around the tree. How do you intend to repay the loan? Ask yourself this, sir. How many youngsters has your bank made happy today? Well, this month? Well, th this year? That even. is not the point. So, you don't like children? Oh, I have four lovely grandchildren. Oh, are these yours? How cute. Oh, the wife and I never could. Maybe that's why. So, uh, tell me, what are their names and addresses? <laughs> oh, Mr. Oh, it's never too soon to get started. I'm afraid you're a little premature if you're depending on the bank for a startup loan. Oh. I'm not saying you're not a good man, Nick. Even jolly. <laughs> Oh, but business-wise. Oh, uh, am I thinking too big? She might say that. Okay, okay. How about I, uh, I build the toy plant in Newfoundland and deliver only to the continental U.S.? No. Maine. And the kids are in Scranton? It's not just a scale, sir. To advance you alone, we need to be convinced that your business will turn a profit. I mean to repay the loan. So, you don't have the Christmas spirit, is that what you're saying? It's just not good banking. Scrooge. All right. All right. I had a dream. It was a fine dream. A generous dream. Thanks. But I can see I came to the wrong place. Profit. Poor kids. Sorry I took up so much of your time, sir. I'm sure you got some friggin' beans to count. If you come up with a more practical idea... Yeah, I know, I know. Don't call us. We'll call you. Merry Christmas! If you can manage it. Ho, ho, ho. What was that all about? You wouldn't believe it if I told you. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be glad for goodness sake. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. Mr. Claus.
Mr. Fancy Pants Banker Man. Yeah, this is Claus. Nick Claus. Just wanted to let you know that you're on the naughty list. For life. Well, what happened? You did go out today. You haven't been sitting here all day drinking. Yeah, I went out. Uh, so what happened? Nick, will you please put that bottle down and talk to me? This is serious. You act like I got a drinking problem. Well, your nose is like a cherry. And yeah, it's not just me, Nick. Other people notice. They laugh when they see you in spite of themselves. I went to the bank, Mildred. I asked for the loan. I was sober. Stone cold sober. That's not the problem. You've always got some kind of problem, Nick. It's my high ideals, honey. I'm a dreamer. You know that about me. I won't sell out. Well, maybe that's why you married me in the first place. Well, sometimes I wonder. But I had such hopes, baby. You didn't ask for much. Just enough to build the shop in the garage. Well, I got to thinking. Not that North Pole crap. You didn't mention the reindeer. M maybe a couple. And the flying sleigh. How much did you ask for, Nick? I didn't get that far. It figures. I bet you mentioned presents under the tree on Christmas Eve, too. Wake up, Nick. It's an impossible dream. The only way all that can happen is with magic. I used to believe in magic. Maybe I did too once, Nick. But you killed that for me. I swear you are the most exasperating man in the Northern Hemisphere. I mean, you're fun when you're jolly. But sometimes I just want to stuff your butt down a chimney. Cheers. Put that bottle down and listen to me. This is serious, Nick. We need to talk. Well, so talk. I've been doing a lot of thinking, baby. I work all day at the mall, and then four nights a week I'm at Stuffy's bartending. It's where we met, and I'm still there. We haven't gone anywhere. And what do you do? You mess around in your shop and make crazy plans. Make plans and work on making your cheeks like roses. You keep promising to change, Nick, and I keep hoping. Hoping someday, somehow. But today... I swear, it's over. What? I'm leaving you, Nick. I want a divorce. But, 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 honey... Don't you touch me, Mr. Claus! Honey, can we talk? Sure. If you want to tell me you got a job. Like, well, hell, any kind of job. Dream or no dream. After my shift, I'm going home to Mama. And you can finish, figure out a way to pay the rent on this dump, or wherever you plan to stay. But it won't be with me. Not until you can carry your own weight. And I do mean weight. It's a shame, Nick. I used to like you. Hell, you lit up my life. But now... <sighs> you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town He's making a list, checking it twice Gonna find out who's naughty and nice Santa Claus is coming to town He sees you when you're sleeping He knows when you're awake He knows if you've been bad or good So be good for 